हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू केमिजॉन कंप्लीट केमिस्ट्री तो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ऑफ गेट 2008 पेपर व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन व्हिच टॉपिक इट इज बेस्ड ऑन मैक्लेफर्टी रीअरेंजमेंट एंड दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर ब्यूटाइरोफिनोन द मोस्ट प्रोबेबल फ्रेगमेंटेशन ऑब्जर्वड इन इलेक्ट्रॉन इंपैक्ट आयोनाइजेशन मास स्पेक्ट्रोमेट्री इज Okay, so let us first understand how did I come to know that this is a question of Meclefferty rearrangement. So we know in Meclefferty rearrangement, gamma hydrogen is abstracted. So you check if gamma hydrogen is present or not. Now, what is gamma hydrogen? It is the hydrogen attached to gamma carbon. So check whether gamma carbon is present or not. So let us first draw the structure PH, C double bond O. CH2, CH2, CH2H, okay CH3. So now, initially oxygen had two lone pairs. First step is ionization, that is removal of this electron. Now, when we remove an electron, what do we get? We get a positive charge, and this is what is called as a radical cation. What is the meaning of radical? A single electron. Cation means positive charge. Okay, so what will happen? now ga gamma hydrogen will be abstracted what is gamma hydrogen this is a functional group carbonyl the carbon next to it is alpha next to that is beta next to that is gamma and if it, there is another carbon next to gamma will be delta so now what will happen is we can we had seen two mechanisms one is what i can do i can do ionic mechanism like this movement of two electrons which bond is broken bond breaking between alpha and beta is broken like this okay so what we get is ph c double bond o. double bond now become single bond oh okay double bond ch2 okay single electron and positive charge plus ethylene molecule is lost okay this is the product that is formed another method also i will show you another mechanism what we had seen was radical mechanism now how radical mechanism take place this will break homolytically okay a bond between alpha and beta will also break homolytically and a new bond is formed between oxygen and hydrogen so what we get is ph c double bond o h okay now one lone pair is remaining and positive charge here what we have is ch2 radical now what will happen this pi bond will break further what we will get the oxygen will get its radical back double bond now becomes single bond oxygen one lone pair was as it is one positive charge was already present and one radical has come now and this will become double bond okay this ch2 radical will also form a pi bond like this so you can see the product formed by both the mechanism is the same okay here also there is one lone pair that is present okay now this is what this is enol form what i can do is i can do tautomerism and what we can get is we can get we can do keto enol tautomerism and we will get what we will get the keto form okay how do you do keto enol tautomerism this pi electrons will pick up this hydrogen and this will come here so what we will get ph c double bond o oxygen having one lone pair radical plus charge and ch3 this same ion what they have written is they have removed all the lone pairs they have added a square bracket and outside the bracket we write radical and cation okay plus which was the other molecule that was formed ethene okay so what is the correct answer c this is radical anion radical anion is never formed b straight away incorrect here no charges are formed this is also incorrect c one is a radical form and other species is what it is a neutral molecule so this is also incorrect correct answer is option a Okay, so what is the correct answer for this question? Answer is option A. I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.